On the eve of the 30th anniversary of the Rainbow Warrior bombing, there's another issue threatening to damage our waters. The government's opening up of more than 425,000 square kilometres of oil exploration areas means international petroleum companies are looking for their next big fortune in New Zealand's backyard. Greenpeace's Steve Abel says oil exploration not only endangers our waters but is a step in the wrong direction. Oil and gas and coal are a sunset industry. Why are we going down the old 19th century route? We should be going for what the future is, and the future is clean energy. Petroleum body CEO Cameron Madgwick says the oil industry is heavily regulated. More than 40% of revenue goes straight to the government, and gaining drilling consent is a lengthy and robust process. It's not... It's not an activity that happens easily, drilling. It's something that we take time to make sure we um, progress in a safe way once we understand the environment we're going into. Supporters of the oil and gas industry in New Zealand recognise small risks do exist in deep sea drilling, but point to the economic value it has for the country. However, Mr Abel says if an oil spill did occur, the damage to the country's tourism and export sectors would far outweigh the revenue the government receives. In those industries, we would say, rely very much on us not having oil washing on our beaches, not having dozens of oil rigs dotted around our coastline. We want to be on the forefront of leading the world to a clean, green, sustainable future. With seven exploration areas now open for tender, the government is inviting bids from industry players and successful permit applications will last for up to 15 years. And despite the best efforts of organisations like Greenpeace, it looks as if New Zealand will continue to be a treasure trove of black gold.